The Hangar 18 and the Strange Extraterrestrial Connections. During the mission of launching a satellite, three astronauts make contact with a UFO. The satellite collides against this and it appears after an explosion. Several severely damaged lands uh, southwest of the United States where it's captured and transferred by governments in the hidden air base Hangar 18. Hangar 18 is a film that continues to provoke discussions within the UFO community, partly due to the fact that it was launched in 1980, and that year the details of the Roswell incident began to filter into popular consciousness with the publication of the same of some books. Equally significant in 1980, and undoubtedly connected with the developments of that place, was the silent insertion in the UFO community of the term Majestic 12, and is now permanently assumed in popular culture, having appeared in films, television programs, comics, and video games. Hangar 18 begins, as said before, in the orbit of the Earth, while NASA prepares to launch a satellite under the watchful eye of the U.S. military, in the same way that the satellite launches from the space shuttle and it collides with a UFO, and uh, the, that way the uh, astronaut is... Uh, uh, loses his life and in the launch bay it's attested that the other shuttle crew or heroes Bancroft and Price played by Gary Collins and James Hampton upon their return to earth men seek answers but they soon realize that their government has instigated a cover-up and they are also being kept in the dark and we learned that after in the, the movie of course is all, all in the film after the collision in orbit the UFO made a controlled landing in the Arizona desert, where it was captured by the U.S. Army, and then the spacecraft is soon transported to Hangar 18 of superior secrecy, where it's studied by NASA scientists led by Darren McGavin, and on board the ship, scientists make a series of surprising discoveries. The alien pilots, although dead, are not physically damaged and have an almost human appearance. The scientists conclude that the aliens visited Earth in ancient times and that they were seen as gods and they mixed with the women of Earth and that they initiated human life as we know it today. The human women also on board the ship in stasis. When the doctors removed her, the woman wakes up in a state of terror. We assume that she is abducted. And in the ship's data files, scientists find glyphs similar to those used by ancient civilizations on Earth and scientists also discover extensive aerial surveillance images of Earth power plants, military bases, and major cities. Apparently, the aliens had been actively interested in our technological capabilities. Meanwhile, in the movie, Bancroft and Price are persecuted in their search for the truth and are targeted for by the government. And uh, Bank Bancroft survives and finally finds his way to Hangar 18 and aboard the alien ship. Around this point, NASA scientists finally decipher the alien glyphs, which indicate that the beings were planning to return to Earth en masse in the near future. And before all this information has the opportunity to sink, government agents carry a remote-controlled jet full of explosives to Hangar 18 to uh, get rid of all those involved and, and cover this up, permanently burying the secret. However, without the knowledge of the government's assault squad, Several of NASA scientists, as well as Bancroft, are inside the alien craft when the suspension uh, bursts and the ship turns out to be invincible and the survivors inside decide to let the truth be known and the film ends with the UFO disclosure. Deciphering ancient astronauts and new religion. Description of Hangar 18 with human looking aliens is particularly interesting such as the idea that these beings propelled the human race. The same details would appear uh, three years later in a secret report from the US, uh, from the Air Force showing the UFO writer and journalist Linda Moulton Howe as her part of preparation of a docu uh, about UFOs. And uh, Dottie told Howe that he would read the document and request of, of his superiors, he emphasized that he was forbidden to take documents with him to take notes of any kind. The documents of great wealth detailed many aspects of UFO phenomenon, 
and includes a list of accidents and recoveries of flying saucers. The list includes two separate incidents near Roswell region in 1947 and another in 1949, which resulted in the capture of live extraterrestrials that was taken to Los Alamos National Laboratories. Apparently, the being was held captive before he died of unknown causes in 1952. Other accidents listed in the document include locations of Aztecs at New Mexico, Kingman in Arizona, Laredo in Texas. Most striking to how was a paragraph that said that aliens had manipulated DNA into a kind of evolving primates to create Homo sapiens. Elsewhere in the document it was noted that the aliens had created a being on Earth whose purpose was to teach humans about love and nonviolence. How was amazed. We're talking about Jesus Christ, he told us. She told Dottie, who is nothing in response, who said nothing in response, but who says, look deeply uncomfortable. On the other hand, the author and researcher Mike Cleland points out that the parallels between the content of Hangar 18 and reports shown to Linda Moulton Howe are so striking that the document that Howe saw could very well have been written by the character of Darren McGavin from what he learned in the movie. And in addition, Cleland says, we have a journalist, Linda Moulton Howe, who received a secret document from Air Force in 1983. The conclusion is that they wanted this information to float to the public. And three years later, we have the movie Hangar 18 floating in the same with the same information under the guise of an action movie. Key questions related to some classic pictures. The alien production of the study simply reflects the ideas and uh, principal directors, producers of the study attempting on their part to take advantage of the ever popular theme of UFOs, or was it a nobler strategy uh, to uh, subtly educate people about the aspect of believing in all this? Whatever the truth behind the production Hangar 18 is still a fascinating, entertaining film and must for any UFO conspiracy fan who appreciates. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. This is on Solask. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.